What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to simplify this radical expression. We have 2 for 2, m to the power of 13, n to the power of 21. I just write it like 2 for 2 times screw root of m to the power of 13 times n to the power of 21. Then I change 241 to 121 times 2. m to the power of 13 is going to be m to the power of 12. m. This one n to the power of 20. n. 121 is 11 squared. So the square root of 11 squared is just going to be 11. m to the power of 12 divided by 2 is going to be m to the power of 6. And n to the power of 20 divided by 2 is going to be n to the power of 10. Square root of 2 times m times n. And that's the final answer. Next example. We have 150 m to the power of 9 n to the power of 3. The answer is 150 times m to the power of 9 times n to the power of 3. 150 is 25 times 6, so we have 25 times square root of 6, m to the power of 8, m, n to the power of 2, n. Square root of 5 squared is just 5, square root of m to the power of 8 is going to be m to the power of 8 divided by 2, which is 4, and Screw root of n to the power of 2 is going to be n to the power of 2 divided by 2, which is n. Then it's going to be 6mn is going to be the final answer. Next one. Simplifying 5 plus root 12. So how do you simplify it? That's very simple. 12 is 4 times 3, so it's going to be 5 plus square root of 4, square root of 3, 5 plus 2 root 3. Then next example is 8 plus square root of 96. The answer will be 8 plus 96 is 32 times 3. So we have 32 times 3 or 8 plus square root of 2 to the power of 5 times 3 or 8 plus 2 to the power of 4, 2 and 3 which makes it 8 plus square root of 2 to the power of 4 is going to be 2 to the power of 2 or just 4 and then we have square root of 2 times 3 is going to be 6. So that's the simplified form. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.